Alright, we are back with the Forgotten City. And, uh... Let's see if I can remember what I was gonna do. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, Priestess. Any uh, I was talking to some... Navia. Hey, someone's doing push-ups. In a helmet. Me, huh? Okay. What were you two talking about? Uh, sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. I'm not playing. I'm actually a dumb. Little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. What's he offering you? Money? Favors? What's your vote worth to him? Um, I'm not voting for him. What else would you be murmuring about on election day? Mark my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? Your eye holes are exposed. I will poke your eyes out. Good. Then stay out of it. Nobody likes Kappa Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Ah, uh, Connor. <sighs> What's your story? The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Okay. Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. No, you want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. Come on, bitch. Come at me. Uh, I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. Whatever. Sounds great. Can I help in some way? He's going to do... How's he going to do that? He's yeah. going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way. And we won't have a problem. Uh, yeah, we do. When Maliolus wins the election, yeah, this place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. But can I? Too bad. He's busy. Unless... Nah. You don't look like you could afford it. I will poke your eyes out, bitch. I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man. And this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Alright, what do you want? Isn't soliciting bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a... a tribute. To me, your soon-to-be patron. Dunno. Something good. I will gouge your eye out. Just make it good. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. <clears throat> Butterflies. Can I climb them? Let me climb. They can support my weight. So how do I lose like 100 pounds? Do we have piranhas in the lake? I'll sacrifice my two walk. Well, my two lips. But then I'll be able to walk. My internal organs. Alright. Well, I guess I can climb it. What now? Let's see if he knows about the vines. What now? Go fuck yourself. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Just remember. I still don't trust you. Wait, th the voices!
Alright, where am I going next? Um... Ooh, what's over there? Oh wait, I can sprint, can I? What if I have a sprint limit? It does not look like it. Nothing? Wait a minute, was that an under... Nope, okay. So that's what's off. What's in here? Alright, nothing interesting. Okay, I can't interact with that, so I can't go across. Damn it! Okay, I'm good. Hmm. Where am I going? Shit. Oh well. I am not stealing anything. Statues are everywhere. The garum fermented fish sauce used as condiment gives off faint salty aroma. Shield. I think I know whose place this is. Alright. Um. Cerberus lifts his dribble head and lets out his threefold praying. Oh, hey. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their traits, imitating their previous lives when they are. Who are you talking to? This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Hmm. Oh yeah, I can't jump. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Do you want to take that intri game, intriguing thought to the bedroom? You seem so refined. So civilized. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Why not? I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Damn it. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Do you know a way out of here? Uh... Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Damn it. Certainly. For ten denarii. How embarrassing for you. Girl. You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Straight to business, huh? I can work with that. As a matter of fact, I do know Ooh. a way out. Tell me. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't oh, just course. give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Yeah. Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. How about we t I take you to the bedroom and show you what a thousand denarii is worth? Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. 
But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. Okay. What's the matter? Can't afford it? Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion. Ah. Uh, how are we going right. now? See ya. Well, I wonder if I could get in her pants. Alright, a shrine. A training dummy. I wonder what happens if I do steal something. I already don't like people here, so... It's been ten minutes. The voices are back! Take. Okay, so I got wine and I got 21 bucks. Alright, what? Where are those whispers? Another golden man. Another golden man. I don't want to go down there. Wait. Butterflies. So I got to find some way to have bonnies. All right. going to die. I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me when you die, a fairy man helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, Yes, but is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Tartarus? Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus because they say I've been bad? I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do. Visit you again soon, all right? All right, Galerius. See you then. All right, what's your story? Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? All right. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but all right, tell I don't me. mind telling it. I'm a farmer, always happy. Okay, I figured I grew that up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground. Cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young. It was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. And this One is night, why you side with the NCR. My sisters and I had nothing left to steal. There was a knock at the door. I knew who they were and what they 
Wanted. We got my father's old axe. Pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. It's the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Yeah, that sounds about on par for reading. Whenever I think about it. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Oh, God. I across this place, and I started my life over again. So, I was dragged out of a river. He was dragged out of a river. While, but it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bit for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. <clears throat> I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry. Nemesis is waiting, and he'll get his one day. He'll get his. Okay uh, then. Forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Sure. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. I anyway, need a lot more information room. before I actually take something you. Else you want to talk about? Do you know a way out of here? All right, no. All right. See you around. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? My name's Duvin. I live here now because I got in trouble. They said they had to lock me up. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. Looking for treasure? I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. <laughs> yes, but I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that all? I did More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me me now. He makes me think of uh, they Sloth from the Goonies. They called me a liar, Billy. Yes. They said I have to live here now. Gave me this letter, but I'm not good with words. Do you? Do you think you could read it for me? Yeah, sure. Letter from Smir Sintius to Doli, Magistrate Sintius Dolius. I am not writing to you in relation to your incorrigible and social behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems like simple misremembering. More importantly, since you have an on several occasions been caught trespassing including around the citizens which 
are strictly off limits to all citizens. Wait, what? In the around the citizens cisterns. Oh God. Off limits to all citizens. I hear have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that the letter will assist you remember why you are incarcerated, should you experience further lapses in memory. Okay. What does it say? It says you got trespassing, so we'll break him, whatever. You have treasure. What is this about treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. What's a cistern? Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. If you give me the key, I'll find out what it does and what. Said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't All right. trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. I'll but talk to the magistrate, I guess. Right he said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. What about the rules? Fuck the rules. They don't apply to me. I am fucking God. Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. What the hell's a sister? It was just that it was way up high and very precious. Uh. <coughs> All right, well, Dewey is now my best friend. Whoa. Hello. Have we met before? What the hell? I'll be going now. Alright, I like Dooley. Dooley is my new best friend. So, with that being said, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe to see more, and we'll try to get Galerius elected next time. See ya, peace.